Hey, what's going on YouTube? In today's video, I want to talk to y'all about Brandon Marshall. A lot of fans is calling out Brandon Marshall now for dissing Shannon Sharp for absolutely no reason. I did a video breaking that down. You guys should go check it out. I'll have the link to that down below and it should be popping up at the end of today's video. So I want to have a conversation with you guys because a lot of you guys was coming to my video and was like, yo, his issue is not because Shannon Sharp is criticizing Russell Wilson. That's just a little bit of fluff that Brandon Marshall is just trying to throw it out there. But his real issue with Shannon Sharp is because of his podcast with Ocho Cinco Nightcap. And I had to sit there and think about it. And I'm like, you know what? There could be some truth to that because as you can see, the podcast is blowing up. So, you know, Brandon Marshall, he could honestly feel like, you know, he helped a lot of these guys have their name come back into the media spaces. And he put these guys on. I'm just speaking in the mindset of Brandon Marshall right now. And, you know, Brandon Marshall feel like he got the bat into the stick. He just talked about it on Cam Newton's podcast saying that he's $12 million in debt. So I would like to highlight that for you guys and then I'll be right back with some more commentary. Here's a video. Be sure to hit that like button for me if you haven't already. That helps this YouTube channel continue to grow. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Stay up to date with all of my current YouTube videos. Peace. Are you getting compensated at all throughout this process? I still haven't taken any money. I'm in the red. I'm in the negative $12 million, like to this day, like I still haven't been paid anything. Everybody else have ate, ate and eaten well off of this platform. Mm. Like when I, when, when I talk about being in the valley and all of that, like, and I, I wouldn't change it for the world. Cause like, to me, I still envisualize being on that second mountain at the top, like damn Barstool just completed herself for 640 million. Uninterrupted sitting on a $740 million valuation. Joe Rogan did what with Spotify? $300 million. The Ringer, $250 million. When Fred Taylor sit down with me, right, and he don't put up any money, but he say he want to put up money, but he don't after a year, and my investment goes to $500 to $1 million, and it keeps rising, and now he's asking for 25% of the company. And I'm like, bro, that just don't make sense to me. Okay, now stop. Okay. Keep your point. Have you ever received any money from Fred Taylor, Reggie Wayne, Channing, uh, Channing Crowder? No. I've paid them. Okay. Now, looking from it from your side, mm -hmm. right? They feel, I would feel if I were them, I would say, even though I never put a dime in, but I helped grow this entity. I'm not owed 25%. No. Why? Okay, so I know Brandon Marshall wasn't talking about Chad Ochocinco in that clip. If you put everything into context, Brandon Marshall, he can just be in this bad state of mind right now for calling out Shannon Sharp for absolutely no reason, saying that Shannon Sharp is not a part of the NFL alumni anymore. Oh, after. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. That's that's when, when he asked her about uh, how many bodies she had. He's and she told him and he started. He said he's white. Look what Shannon's white. <laughs> that's former alumni. And, uh, he ain't, if he was former alumni, he wouldn't be talking about athletes the way he's talking about athletes. He, okay. He talking like, like he... Like he was trained to be a ABC, NBC analyst. Yeah, yeah. And you know, that's kind of disrespectful to a Hall of Famer like Shannon Sharp, somebody who put blood, sweat, and tears into the game of football. And for Brandon Marshall to feel like Sharp is not a part of the NFL alumni because now Shannon Sharp is one of the top dogs when it comes to being a sports analyst. So I feel like it's not just because of Russell Wilson. He's not specifically targeting Russell Wilson, how Skip Bayless attached his name and himself to Russell Westbrook or LeBron James. And you see this like this hate train and trolling all the time, how you see Skip Bayless would do to these players. I feel like Shannon Sharp, he has a genuine love, of course, for the Denver Broncos. And he's going to watch the Denver Broncos games versus him just catching some highlights, trying to take notes for some hot takes when he goes on ESPN or whatever job that he's going to have at the time to give out some little sports commentary for hot takes. Shannon Sharp is going to be watching those Denver Broncos games, which is why Shannon Sharp is going to have an honest critique when it comes to Russell Wilson and anybody else that plays for the Denver Broncos. That's just honestly my opinion on it. I feel like Shannon Sharp's criticism is valid, and he pretty much just says 
everything that everybody else has been saying about Russell Wilson. So that's it for today's video, guys. I would like for you guys to get in the comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts about today's video. Do y'all feel like the reason why Brandon Marshall has an issue with Shannon Sharp is because of his podcast with Ocho Cinco Nightcap? Or is it because he's actually really critical of Russell Wilson? Don't forget to hit the like button if you made this far in the video. I really do appreciate that, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well if you're new to the channel. Comment down, new sub if you're new. Catch you guys in the next video, and we out, guys. Peace.